What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive 4v4 S&D gameplay. It's a little bit in there already, just because the first few rounds are boring. And uh, keep in mind, this is back when Plizix was still on the team. So, a couple quick announcements real quick before I get into the main topic here. So, um, keep sending in gameplays to me. I've had one person actually send one in, and a few people who have expressed interest in it. Um, I believe the one that has already sent it in would prefer me to just commentate regularly over it and not analyze it. I'm not 100% sure. I'll ask before I use it, and that'll probably be up on Sunday. Um, but yeah, you know, if you guys want me to analyze your gameplays, tell you what you're doing wrong, what you're doing right, you can be sending those in. Also, my capture card is still giving me trouble, so I'm probably going to have to buy a new one. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to get an Elgato this time around or stick with an Aver Media. i got to get a few questions answered first from the company, so we'll see what happens there. Also, of course, we're still trying people out, although we want to get a pickup fairly quickly because we want to do the 5K tournament that's coming up on the 23rd. Um, so, yeah, we really want to do that. We're not necessarily in it to win it because there's going to be a lot of pro teams, but we want that experience and we want to make it a, a few rounds in and get a bunch of pro points. Um, it looks like a very nice tournament, so we really want to do that. So if you are a credit sponsor and you'd like to sponsor us, that would be awesome. Um, I understand if you don't want to, but it'd be awesome if you do. You don't have to sponsor everybody or all the amounts. Um, we'll probably just split it evenly among all of us, however much you can give us. So anything would be appreciated. So that's all the announcements. Getting into the main topic today, and that's going to be what roles are used or necessary in S&D. And basically, these are a, a lot of what I'm going to be saying is going to be generalizations and everything is situational in this game you can pick and choose what you need accordingly you know to the maps and your play style and your opponent's play style but this is kind of general guidelines so the first role is the bomb planter so this person needs to have speed perks and or stealth perks um, and you're going to probably run a smoke or a trophy um, typically a, a smoke and then you're gonna have a submachine gun or a shotgun depending on the map and your job is to just stay alive long enough to get the bomb down. That is your main goal because then that puts pressure on the other team. Um, it would be nice if you can stay alive. You know, that's that's always the best scenario, but your, your main goal is to get that bomb down. Now, of course, this doesn't mean just rush up and get the bomb down while your team is all in the spawn and nobody's helping you. That's, that's not what you're supposed to do, but your main goal is just to get that bomb down to put pressure on. Next player is the person whose job is to keep the bomb planner alive. And that would be the support player. So this person is going to be using perks that are going to help them stay alive, like ICU and blast shield. Um, maybe a spur, a speed perk or two. Sorry, I stumbled on my words a little bit there. Uh, just to keep up with the bomb planner. And you're going, to, as a support, you need a trophy. Like, you, you really need a trophy system to help, you know, prevent nades and stuns coming in. Maybe even a double trophy system. So that's what you would typically do. And then a support player goes back and forth between a sub and an AR, just depending on the map, um, especially with Sovereign. You know, it's uh, sometimes it's more of a submachine gun, and then maps like Octane, it's more of an AR. So it's, it's whatever you're comfortable with. The next role is the rusher or flanker. And this, per this is the person that applies pressure from behind. This is the one that makes your enemies jump and, you know, worry about their flank all the time. This person needs to typically just worry about speed perks, uh, possibly stealth if you think that you're going to be throwing a lot of smokes or if um, the enemy team has, you know, like a thermal sniper, so that might be something to consider. But yeah, that's basically you just need to worry about the speed and then you might want to use a stun. Um, I would recommend don't use any lethals as a rusher and maybe, you know, not use any tacticals. Your main job is just to apply pressure very, very quickly. So, I mean, I, I wouldn't worry too much about having a ton of stuns and everything. But, of course, you know, it's situational. You can do what you want with it. And typically, this person is going to have a submachine gun. Uh, maybe a shotgun, but it's, it's usually going to be a submachine gun. Um, and then the next role is the Slayer version 1. Uh, this is the Slayer role that I typically play as, and this person is going to be using an AR. And what you're going to do is you're going to use perks to help you win gunfights and stay alive. So an example of this would be Ready Up, Quick Draw, Blast Shield, uh, you know, things like that, maybe Incog. So that's, that's your job. It's just basically you're going to play very, very passive. You just want to stay alive in the back and get those easy picks. Nades and stuns are definitely a preference when you're playing an AR role, so it's whatever you really want to do. 
um, and yeah, just very, very passive. So the next one is the Slayer version 2, and this person's job is to get the first blood. This person is going to have an overkill sniper, and uh, since there are five classes or five major roles that I'm talking about, obviously you can't use them all. You got to pick and choose. But yeah, this person's going to have an overkill sniper. Their job is to get the first blood and then lock down an area. This gives you such a huge advantage. Perks are definitely situational in this. Um, usually, I would use an AR with a red dot as your overkill weapon. But yeah, your your main job in this is to just get that first blood, that early pick. It helps so much. So those are the five major roles. Um, in S and D, so let me know what you guys think. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and/or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody. Peace out.